took you to the dollar store and I did a dollar store equestrian haul edition. And in that video, I showed you some placemats that I bought to make a bag. Well, I made that bag and today I'm going to show you how I did it. Hello awesome equestrians, I'm Lisa, the budget equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And if you want to learn how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse, start now by clicking that little subscribe button so you don't miss another video. Okay, let's get into today's video. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I showed you guys some different things that I bought at the dollar store and basically dollar store hacks. So this one isn't just for equestrians, but I thought it was really fun and I made it using placemats that I got from the dollar store and two halters that I had that I wasn't really going to do anything with and I made a bag. And what's cool with using the halter straps is you can unhook them and you can crisscross them. So now I have a fun bag I can use for a gear bag, I can go out for the day with my fancy little dollar store bag. It was super easy to make and now I'm going to show you how I did it. store purse, gear bag, grooming tote, whatever you want to make of it. It's pretty neat, pretty fun, super easy to make even if you aren't a seamstress because I am definitely not a seamstress. The only thing that you'll be limited by is 
what kind of placemats they have at the dollar store. And that's why I did choose to use, like I said, the halter, the pieces from a halter, because the only other webbing material that I had at home was pink, green, and purple. And I didn't think that would go very good with my bag. So I had some extra halters, cut off the pieces for that goes around their head, and made this. I'm pretty happy with this. Not my first choice of colors, but I think it turned out okay. What do you think? And if you'd like to learn more about my other DIY projects, product reviews, and how you can be a budget equestrian, just click the little round subscribe icon so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.